YouTube, what's going on? It's Mesa back at it with some Destiny 2. All right, folks, I am here at E3, and today I've got some exclusive hands-on gameplay of the new DLC coming to Destiny 2, September 4th, called Forsaken. And a big thank you to Activision and Bungie for having me out to E3 to get hands-on time with Forsaken, specifically the new game mode called Gambit, which is a combination of PvE and PvP. In this video, we're going to go over a number of things. We're gonna cover a new archetype of weapon we have, and that is a bow. You're seeing it right now. You're seeing a legendary one, but I'm going to show you an exotic one too. We're going to go over weapon slot changes. You're seeing on your screen right now, I am using a kinetic shotgun. That's right, folks. Weapon slot changes are coming September 4th. We're going to talk about the new power level cap, and my gosh, is it high. We are going to be grinding really hard come September to get to that new power level cap coming from 385. They also are increasing our overall level cap, and we'll cover that at the end. Now guys, I will have a separate video on how Gambit works, how it played, how I felt it played, how it was different from the Community Summit, and I also will fire up the stream this week because now the embargo has lifted where I can talk about anything that we discussed with Bungie at the Community Summit. Also, I will have a full video on new supers. We are getting nine new supers come September, and I got a bunch of gameplay of some of them. All right, without further ado, let's get into today's video. Now, first up, let's talk about these new bows. Now, we have a new exotic one called the Trinity Ghoul and then it was a legendary one called Arsenic Bite 48. We had some sit down time with the developers and they had mentioned that there will be short, medium and long range bows. But when we look at the stats, we don't see range on them. We see impact, accuracy, we have stability, handling, reload speed and draw time. So draw time is basically how fast you can get those arrows to fire off. So here's some gameplay of the Trinity Ghoul. I just love that name. It's an exotic arc energy weapon. Now this thing, you gotta treat it like a sniper almost. You can hip fire things up close, but you wanna aim down sight and pull and draw that arrow back. So it's got two unique perks. One is called Spread Shot, so the first arrow is gonna split off when released, so you actually get three arrows that go out. And perk number two, check this out. Watch when I hit this Cabal right here, it did some chain lightning damage to the Cabal next to him. So the way it works is that you kill one Cabal with a precision shot, your next shot is going to have chain lightning abilities to it. So very, very good for ad control. You kill one ad, you get that precision hit, and then your next shot, if you fire it off at a whole bunch of ads, it's gonna do some chain lightning damage damage to them. So the way it works is the left trigger, that's going to give you the aimed out sight, and then the right trigger, if you just press it to shoot, yeah, you're gonna fire off an arrow, you could do some hip firing with it, but ideally you wanna aim down sight, hold down the right trigger, that's going to draw the arrow back, and then when you release your finger off the trigger, it's gonna fire that arrow. Now here is the legendary bow that I showed you before called the Arsenic Bite 4B. And yes, I know I may have failed to call it 48 before. This one is a lightweight frame. So you've got recurve, charging quick, and you're gonna move fast. The main perk is draw time decreases after every hit. Now here's some footage of either Dylan or Griffin from Bungie. They shared footage with me and he invaded the enemy team's map and he's going ham with this Arsenic Bite. So you can see this would probably be a good bow for PvP, but then the exotic one I feel would be better off for PvP because of those chain lightning capabilities. But yeah, Griffin or Dylan were going ham with this thing. So my overall impressions of the new archetype was they were hella fun, guys. Um, I think the snipers or people who like to snipe are gonna love these things. Uh, they do a lot of damage when you get those critical hits. They felt like snipers, but they feel like they also have a ton of aim assist when you aim down sight and you pull that bow all the way back. I don't know, I just felt a lot of magnetism on those targets. The build that we were playing on did not allow us to go in and inspect all the weapons or lore or anything like that. This is a build. This is the E3 build and also the Guardian Con build. If you're going to Guardian Con, you will be able to play this at Guardian Con besides coming by the Guardian Radio booth and saying hello to me. But I wanted to mention that because these are all just test builds. This might be different when it actually rolls out September 4th. So keep that in mind with any footage you see of me because when it comes to going over the supers, which I will cover in a separate video, those also are still being tweaked. So we couldn't inspect the different perks for each super and take a look at how they work. However, we could deduce a lot of things from actually just using them. You saw the Titan before, and it's basically like you turn yourself into a big arc rocket. Next up, let's talk about the changes to the weapon slots. So, in a nutshell, if you like the way it is right now in Destiny 2, you could continue to play like that. 
If you prefer how the Destiny 1 system was, you can do that as well. And as Josh Hamrick said in the Vidoc, you can go crazy and run around with three shotguns or three snipers or whatever. However, you will have some ammo constrictions on you because it's not that you could take a power weapon and then throw it into your energy slot or kinetic. No, there's going to be new power weapons that are now kinetic. Some power weapons that are going to be now energy weapons. After we got to play, we had some sit down time with Lars Backen, Scott Taylor, Steve Cotton from Bungie. And one of the questions that I brought up was, okay, let's say I want to use a shotgun in my kinetic slot, right? And I don't have much ammo for it. Can I then go and switch to my auto rifle, kill a bunch of ads, and then just leave a whole bunch of white bricks on the ground, then swap to my shotgun, and then I'm gonna have a ton of shotgun ammo? Nope, that's not how it's going to work. Whatever ammo you pick up, whether it's kinetic, energy, or power, depending on what weapon type, that's how much ammo you're going to have. So I envision, let's say in PvP, if you're running a kinetic sniper, which you can do, well, when you run that kinetic sniper and you pick up a white brick, you're only going to get the amount of ammo you normally would get for a sniper. Now, I personally was loving the weapon slot changes because when you play Gambit, you get invaded where someone comes in, they have an overshield, and you don't know where they are. Well, they show up red on your radar, but sometimes you just think it's another ad. No, it's a hunter coming up behind you and he's killing you. Well, with the new weapon slot system, I found myself having to make choices. Rather than doing what I normally do, which is run a scout and an auto rifle, or a hand cannon and an auto rifle, or a hand cannon and a pulse rifle, you know what? I put on a kinetic shotgun, because when that hunter came around to waste me this time, I had something for him. So we're going to finish the video off now and talk about the power level. The new power level, max power level, is going to be 600 power. Those were not placeholders when we saw the original Vidoc. A lot of us thought, oh, okay, we saw some shots with 400 weapons, 600 attack. No, 600 is the new power level cap. Now, we're going to have to get from 385 to 600. That is going to be a grind. And look, look, I am all for it, guys. War mind, I did hit 385. Not that fast, actually. I, I was too busy working, making videos nonstop for the first two weeks. I didn't hit 385 on two of my characters for a couple of weeks. And in fact, my Warlock is still 384 because I can't get a bond. Now, also, we're going to get a level cap, and that level cap is going to be 50. So, 600 power, and then we're going to have a level cap of 50. So, safe to say, the grind is real, or the, <laughs> the grind will be real come September. All right, Babel Mode has been engaged, guys. What do you guys think? Expect more videos probably going up at the same time this video is or shortly after full guide to gambit and then also all the footage i captured of the new supers or at least some of the supers now as i said i will fire up the stream later this week when i get back from e3 to talk about the community summit but since the embargo's up i'll just tell you this forsaken is the taken king for destiny 2 that's what they're trying to accomplish in terms of destiny 2 what do i mean by that the taken king changed everything about destiny 1 and how we played destiny 1 Forsaken, everything they're bringing to Forsaken and everything they're bringing to year two for players that don't have Forsaken, guys, it's the Taken King all over again, and I am super hyped about it. So leave me a hashtag made it to the end if you did make it to the end, and do me a favor, drop a like in this video only if you see fit. Follow me on the Twitter at MaceSean. Check out my stream, usually and always on YouTube, and that's it. I am out of here like Vladimir. Mm -hmm.